Okay, DN 11.5. Back in the Money Pit area. Thank you, Colm. No problem. Top of 88, so we got 78 to 88. Let's see what it's giving us. The slice and dice. Charles Barkhouse and geologist Terry Matheson are closely monitoring the drilling of borehole DN 11.5. Now that it has reached the possible treasure zone between 80 and 120 feet deep. Hey, Charles. Hey, Ian. Hey, Ian, how you doing? How you doing, Terry? Not too bad. Good to see you. We're down DN 11.5. We're down 78 to 88 feet. We're really getting close. close. Yeah. yeah. Do something. Let's take a measurement on the pipe. Ready. What's going on over there? Saying. Saying we're open foot and a half. How we doing? Hey How guys. Doing? So What's over there. I was doing my run to a hundred. Right. Right at about ninety feet. Broke through something. Wow. You got an open space 90 feet below grade? Right. There's a void down there. Well, so we're just going to talk this over and think yeah. of how we're going to proceed. We're definitely going to want you to pause. All right. I think we better get Rick and Marty up here. Sure. Give me, give me, give me a call. Absolutely. We all pause, brah. Hold on. Hey, Rick. Whenever you get a call from the Money Pit Drill Program, you're excited. DN 11.5 is actually within the so-called treasure zone. The treasure zone we know has high gold values. We know the introduction of trapped air. We know voids in the area. It's exciting. Rick's here now. So you found it, and I can go home. <laughs> well, we got something interesting going on Mike? here, Mike. Golden. Hey guys. Hey, Hello on the table. Judging by the people gathered here, something happened. When I walked up, everybody was smiling. What's going on? Come on down. What do we got? Mike, why don't you tell us what you saw or hit? At right about 90 feet, I could feel the rods break through something, and uh, it was open about a foot and a half past my rods. So whatever I cored through probably fell out into this void. So what is this? This DN 11.5. It really seems to line up. DN 12.5 and DN 13.5, all in that east-west alignment, all have hit a structure at 94 feet below grade. Mike hitting this right now at about 90. That says perhaps we're at the top of the tunnel. Because the team has recently encountered a believed tunnel at this same depth in two other nearby boreholes, which all line up with the garden shaft, could Terry Matheson be correct? that they have intercepted another section of the structure. If so, could it be related to the large amount of gold that has been detected within the baby blob? You've got to affirm whether or not it is a tunnel. And the only yeah. way to learn that is to pull the core. Exactly. Time out Get us some core. Time to find some treasure. Go get it, guys. Thanks. Every time a bit goes down, Every time we encounter a void, your first thought is this might lead us somewhere to the long sought after answers, the long sought after treasure. Judy. Every single time. If we were to encounter a tunnel in close proximity to this shaft or even at the base of this shaft, that's a real aha moment. Got oh, he's got a big one. Thank you. All right, where'd you sit down? Uh, the end is 98 and a half. Where did your void end? The void ended at 97. You had that it's, much. There's some wood, Terry. Whoa, we, we got, got wood at the wood. bottom here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're into something. It's all through there. There's a pretty solid chunk in the middle of it. There's wood all through this core. I'm just going to squeeze in there and get a wood sample. This sample right here, we don't need much. That sample should be fine. 
Uh, we're just going to send it in the lab really quickly just to see if there's metals in that wood. Later that afternoon. Lord. So we have something to see? Do, yes. Rick Lagina and Craig Tester join Laird Niven and archaeometallurgist Emma Culligan in the Oak Island Interpretive Center for a highly anticipated scientific report. We've got the XRF results from DN 11.5. Oh, good. This definitely appears to be a tunnel, mm -hmm. and it sure points towards the garden shaft. And then this specific area is where, you know, we've got a number of the most likely treasure areas. So-called treasure location. Yeah. Really? This will be interesting to see what we see on this. Over the past 24 hours, the wood sample recovered one day ago from borehole DN 11.5 which came from a believed tunnel some 90 feet deep that may be connected to the garden shaft, was dried out and then scanned by Emma using the X-ray fluorescence spectrometer, or XRF, a device that bombards objects with gamma rays, which can detect additional elements or metals that may be found on or within them. Emma, so what are we seeing? So we are seeing some very small quantities, so I had to do a lot of double checking. So the, all those are expected materials from our uh, Oak Island. We have a lot of iron, manganese, titanium, calcium, potassium, aluminum. So these are all common things. Those are all what I would expect. Natural, okay. Naturally occurring. Yeah, very natural. Yeah. But we are seeing some quantities of gold. It shows gold. Yeah, it, it's there. Gold is the outlier? Gold is a, yes. <laughs> it's a very big outlier. That's, that's remarkable. <laughs> now we have singularly unique results from the application of that concept in two different modems, if you will, in the wood and in the water. That's fantastic. Yeah. And this might connect you to where the treasure may be. This might connect you to a direction that you need to go. This is becoming very impactful. The narrative's still going on. Absolutely. Yeah. The gold sampling of the water and now the wood is probably the thing that might carry the day this year. I mean, that was the hope. It was always the hope that it would lead to a location where we could do some exploratory drilling or digging and hopefully find the one thing. Will we find the treasure at the bottom of the garden shaft? I'm very hopeful. This might be the start of evidence, an evidence trail. It's every bit as important as the water sampling has been to date. Sure. So we mustn't falter. What we always say is you won't find samples hidden here in the lab. Here's where you come up with the answers. Yep. So we'll get you more samples. Mm -hmm. All right. All righty. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay.